Bite my tongue? Never. See, what they don't know is, is, they're tuning in to DBYC Podcast, and I'm just discovering the world around me. Kaisha, I love you. It be like God is telling you to keep going. You quit on yourself, you really down bad. Tune in Wednesdays at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Hey everybody, and you're tuning in to DBYT Podcast with your host, Taisha. So I'm introducing a new show called Behind Closed Doors, and basically that's just a little mini series where we confess as 20-something year olds, because you know, we all go through a lot of things, and I'm just here to be the connector to one person to the next to help each other out as a community. So with that being said, let's get into it. To me, give it to me. It's to me. <laughs> All right. So, da 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 da. So normally, this is the plan for this series is to have people send in audio or video confessionals, depending on if, like, you know, how comfortable people are with doing that. So that's the that's the goal to have them do that. I commentate and everything, get my little woo 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 woo, and yeah, we just help each other out. That's basically what we're doing here. But for today, I guess this is more so about people who accept bare minimalism. Not gonna lie. <laughs> So it's kind of a self-reflection type of episode and we, that's what we're going to get into today for real. So today's topic is bare minimalism, as I just said, and I know there's probably going to be a few questions on it. Um, like, why not? Because who even talks about it for, for the most part? Um, so I'm going to make sure that I try to hit the questions that I think are most going to be questioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but first, I'm going to start off by reading this poem that I wrote earlier this year. Um, it's called For Him I Do. And yeah, let's just say your girl was in a bit of, of a conundrum, a bit of a, a space. Let's just say that. Yeah, let's go with that. Cool. All right. Um, so excuse my pacing. I don't usually read my material out loud. But we're going to read it out loud today. Cool. <laughs> so, for him, I do anything. I was willing to wait to give you time and allow you to shine, even if it was without me, just because I felt like you deserved it. I was willing to look foolish, be your clown, just for you to let me know when you'd be in town. <sighs> even if I just end up getting let down, just because I wanted you around. For him, I do anything, sacrifice my feelings to make sure he stayed intact. Even if I was dying on the inside, how could I let him know that? I wanted this man to know about my feelings for him, though that would be too much. But who am I really kidding? He wasn't even there enough. His false proclamations for me filled me with such great hope for in the end to come that I'll still be ended up looking like a dope. Stupid, gullible, and blind love had me feeling like I was on an incline. I saw our future together, the home, the family, the success. But I see clearly now that I'm really just a threat. He didn't want me, but never had the guts to say it. He found happiness in another. Hold on. Wait, let me get my AK. Nah, I'm JK, but I'm really TK. They probably laid down together for um, now till whenever. Uh, Seems like forever, I'd say. A woman who probably has more class and ass than me, but could never be as real as me. I am one of a kind and he knows that. While he attempts to find another to give himself reassurance that there ain't no one other like me. Yes, I am rare. And he knows that, but definitely can't conjure up the courage to admit that. 
but that's okay because for him I do anything I only want what's best for him but he has to want that too I would never not support him in life but I'm done putting my heart on the line for him I do anything but this time I won't sacrifice my mind yeah yeah so that's my poem very proud of it yeah 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 cool all right so anyways going back to behind closed doors honestly um i kind of want to explain the poem a little bit um so basically i was young had a little love, cool and i wanted to be with him for forever and that didn't work out it just didn't work it just didn't work it just didn't work cool so um like i said in the poem i was willing to wait and give him time um to do his thing you know and i was and i thought that if i did that it would be like oh well why you have all this time to be you do you you know and get yourself to the point in life where you want to be i can do the same and i can match up to your energy that's what i thought Mm -hmm. yeah so cool 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 um definitely was a foolish child um I even it was like more so like he didn't stay here after he left so it was like anytime that I got to see him or we got to see each other it was like yeah let's do that da, 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 let's link da, 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 woo, woo. and I would just be like on on cloud nine being happy and everything thinking that 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 was enough and it, was, it wasn't you know it was just like why am I doing this you know so that was a thing um couldn't really get around to the part where I'm like oh I feel like x y and z because I was scared that if I was to be like honest about my feelings for you it's like that would bring you quicker away than me just being like okay let me just handle my own let me just do this by myself let me just you know keep everything in here or on my on paper I'm a writer guys I do that so yeah um so I was just trying to make sure he was good instead of making sure I was good because at the end of the day I got to stay with myself and now I know like don't do that don't do that just be vocal so yeah got that cool <laughs> um yeah I wrote his false proclamations filled me with hope because I would figure out like he would say things to me like well you're such an angel I don't want to you know disrupt your peace I don't want to do this I don't want to do that because you're so perfect and da, 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 woo, woo, you know and I'm like you know what that makes sense like if you need time take it you know I wouldn't want you to do me wrong while you thinking like you know it was a it was a tactic and I fell for it mm, yeah so you know whatever <laughs> so yeah I was I look stupid you know I'm all stupid <laughs> um definitely uh oh my gosh I remember like I was so love struck when I was wee boy, you know, and it was like anytime his name got brought up, anytime I talked to him, anytime I was around, and it like you, you get the picture. I'm just like, oh my god, uh, no, <laughs> bad girl, can't do that, never again. But yeah, I definitely saw everything uh, was coming together in my head instead of looking at the actual reality of, hey, this may not happen, girl, this may not happen. Wasn't I wasn't thinking like that. I was like, why would he? Uh, he lied. <laughs> people lie people do that it doesn't matter who they are to you it doesn't matter what they've done or what you've done for them it does none of that matters it doesn't yeah cool um he got a girlfriend <laughs> he got a girlfriend i was like oh what what is this so yeah don't ever let nobody play you like that like they they just try to keep you around just for like safety net reasons <laughs> don't know why though because like the crazy thing is you could be everything that somebody wants in a person and they still can overlook you or make you feel less than or make you feel like you not enough on some stuff and in the back of my mind like well I guess in the front of it too there's a lot of people that I have around me that like constantly tries to support me you know and make sure that I'm sane 
or making sure that I know my worth and know like, hey, you're pretty, you're smart, you're da 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 da. And what I had to tell one of my friends um recently, like, none of none of that matters. It honestly doesn't. Because it, it's not going to make you more of a candidate to somebody who isn't checking for you. And and that's what I had to learn growing up for real. And I guess I just kind of hit it on the nail when that happened. It was more like, hey, girl, like, I know I'm all of these things. But at the end of the day, does this person care? Does this person care? Does this person care? No, no, no. So you just got to find your match elsewhere and you can't expect people to see you the way that you see yourself yeah cool um yeah uh, and like i just told you he knows all this stuff about me uh which goes into the part where he attempts to find somebody else like me and somebody else instead of just me um he knows that he just doesn't want to admit it not it doesn't have anything to do with me so oh um, cool um but everything that I wrote in here is definitely true. Um, I will never not support him because, I mean, at the end of the day, I have to accept for myself, like, hey, you you accepted all the stuff that was being thrown at you, but now you can either do away with it or you could be happy for him and his new growth, you know, situation, and you just be the friend that you have always been. It was really changed right cool so but at the end of the day will i look crazy for you again less than likely so yeah i just wanted to cover that real quick just so y'all know where this is coming from um everything i wrote was real and just because i write it at different periods of time in my life doesn't mean that it didn't happen earlier or so have you it's just sometimes things weigh on my heart and my brain a little bit more at specific times than others but i all see it as the same you know like we need it it's cool um so yeah with that <laughs> let's get into this these questions i was talking about earlier so um the first question i think people would have um would be what is bare minimalism and basically i put um is basically one person puts in enough effort in order for this person to stay around so it's kind of like a a little not a heavy drug but a light drug because you can do without while you don't don't have it but when it's available you like where's it <laughs> but yeah that's i mean that's what it is um so they don't really have to do much to keep you there even though like they, they can do something of some of the most normal things that uh should be deemed normal and not really extravagant and you're like oh my gosh i love this man i love this girl like she's just so awesome she's they're not doing it and i disclaimer i'm really not a fan of drake but i've heard the line several times and it was a bit, um like i don't even do that much for you to be smiling like that or something it was like very recent and when I heard it, I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't be, right? So yeah, um, but have y'all ever had to, for real, for real, take your own advice? Like, it's crazy that we be having all the good ideas up here, and then it's like, when you get into that same exact situation, it's like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I'm lost, I'm da 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 da. <sighs> I'm pointing it out, I know, I know. And it's like people will come up to you and tell you like, oh, you need to, you need to. And then you're like, no, 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 But really in the back of your mind, you're already like, yeah, I already know that I'm working on it. But dang, you really have to bring it up. Like, you didn't have to do me like that, you know? But um, I definitely, first of all, if you do feel that for real, share this video with somebody just to be like, girl, you, you remember that situation I had with X, Y, and Z? Yeah, she talking about it. Or even if you just want to like it, that's cool too. If you don't want nobody in your business, you ain't even got to share it. You can like it. Do you want to comment? Tell me about your situation because I want to compare stories. I'm just saying. But um, back to the questions. Cool. So who can fall victim to bare minimalists? Anyone. It's not gender neutral. It's not age neutral. It's not, it's not, it's none of that, you know? Cause literally anybody, if one, if person A loves person B enough to accept the things that they barely do, you're falling victim, baby. I mean, 
that's just as simple as that and that's probably the shortest answer you're going to get today from me yeah so um i do want to like if you have been in this situation before um i want to tell you how to get past it because i'm pretty sure that is going to be a question or maybe a question that some of you are having right now um i got five things tom patience practice self-evaluation and raising your standards now with the time it took me a very long time very long time so don't think that this thing is going to happen overnight because it's not especially if you really like was feeling somebody for real for real it's not going to be like hmm, let me go to sleep all right wake up next day it's over you're you're fooling yourself it's not gonna that's not gonna happen it's unrealistic unrealistic uh patience that the time and patience go to get hand in hand because you got to be patient with yourself because there are times where you get uh mad at yourself like why do i accept this and, da, 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 and why don't they see me and da, da, da. take a step back breathe you know <laughs> uh practice when that person comes around do not show them that same attention that you always show them are you hearing me do not show them that same attention because they're going to take advantage of it and they will continue to take advantage of it because they don't know what else to do because they're so used to you being around and accepting these things that they will keep doing it and expect you to be okay with it so practice that you don't have to if you don't want to go full-fledged on them you don't have to you can just you know i'm good like oh can i see you i'm busy Kill him with, kill him with that. Kill him with it. And if you need another excuse, tell him you're going out with a friend. You ain't really got a friend. I'm your friend. Lie. <laughs> they be doing it too. I don't condone lying, but in that case, lie if you have to. It doesn't matter um, at that point because they don't play with you. Self evaluation. Always keep it real with yourself, no matter what. Even if other people start seeing it and are like, oh, so da 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 da, I thought you was gonna da 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 da. Don't worry about it. Don't get mad. Just know it for yourself that you're working on it. And last one was to raise your standards. Um, I'm going through it. I'm going through it. I have to be able to look at myself and say, hey, Taisha, like, what's going on? You know, like, you deserve, I don't even like, I hate the word deserve, but you should expect more, even though I hate expecting things because that usually leads for people, leaves room for people to let me down. And I don't like that, I don't like it. But for the, uh, for the sake of my bright future, I gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm working on it. Um, people may be looking at this video and probably are like, I don't even understand. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never been through this. I don't even understand why people would. And A, they either are lying to themselves or two, they really just never been through it and don't have the perspective because they never had the opportunity. Thus, lack of experience, lack of, you know, understanding. So here's perspective. Um, why do people allow bare minimalism? They want attention. This bare minimal, con like attention that they are getting is just enough to hold them over until next time. Okay, hope. Hope and like uh, me. Uh, sorry, lost my thought, but I'm here. I'm really back, really back. Cool. Hope. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I swear. Um, but you, you having these expectations in your head and you're like, I want A, B, and C to happen. And I hope that everything works out in the end. People do that. I did that. Can't do it no more. Lonely. Being lonely is probably a big one. I hear a lot of people uh, tell me like they just don't even feel like they're meant for anybody or that they feel like they can't bear the fact that they are going to be alone for the rest of their lives. And it's crazy because we're 20 something year old, you know, it's like how do we know what's going to happen in the rest of our lives? Like, to be honest, right now, I'm just riding it all. I'm just I'm just chilling right now as of right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um haven't thought of it being any better they're in this situation and now they're thinking like this is good this is great you know like this can't get any better than this i have somebody who's you know showing me a little something something and i'm here so it's cool 
this, this is, it happens or they don't feel like they are worthy of more been in that situation uh, uh just to dabble in that just to quickly as it was a time where i felt like why would you love me like i don't even you know i don't even emote that da, 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 that type of energy but last point <laughs> First of all, let me explain. My memory card was full, and I spent like 30 minutes looking for my other cards, and they was over here by my hat. I done searched the whole room. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, last point for it was why do people allow it? Don't feel worthy of more. It's plain and simple. We don't think that we deserve the things that are being given to us at a higher extent. So, we settle for what we think we are worth. Boom. That's what it is. Cool. Conclusion. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand how upset I was. I was over here like, yo, where are my cards at? Because I know, for a fact, I know I had touched them today. And I was like, yo, I don't know. So, yeah, um, whatever. It, that's none of your business. Anyways. So, be, um, for this new series, what I plan to do is have a tell all or whatever segment um, in the comments just so we can build our community and, you know, get advice to help each other out. So, behind closed doors, tell me how you feel. You can leave a comment and tell me if you learned anything new from this episode or if you've gone through something similar or if you know people who have that are in your life that have gone through this bare minimalism stage in their lives because I don't think it's a it's something that can't be changed I'm not a person that thinks that people can't change because right now I mean you know well, I wasn't always like this and I changed into that for a moment and I think with some more time and practice you know I will be able to get out of it and be able to see myself for what I'm really worth and not just hear my worth from other people um because at the end of the day you have to believe it as well it doesn't matter what anybody else says is it, it, it really matters about how you feel about yourself and how you see yourself um so yeah so in conclusion for real um as people we have to start giving ourselves more of a fair chance uh when it comes to who we allow in our space and who we leave behind because honestly there's there's so many times where we just be like okay well this is as good as it's gonna get and to be honest no it's not to be like I know I was smiling and everything throughout this whole video, but seriously, this is an issue that needs to be addressed and it keeps coming up. So I think it's really time for me to just sit back and evaluate because it ain't, I mean, it's, it's, it's gotta be better than this. It's just like a job, my guy. Working for forever. That cannot be as good as it's gonna get, baby. It's not, it can't be. But that's for another episode. So to even to wrap up for real, um, if you wanna follow me on my social media platforms, I'm really big on Instagram. Like when I say big, I mean active. I don't really mean like I'm famous or anything. Y'all y'all don't know me, but y'all gonna get to know me. <laughs> Just a little bit, just a little bit. Cool, cool, cool. But um, I'm gonna try to insert my Instagram, my personal Instagram, underscore Sana. Cool. My podcast Instagram, DBYT Productions. Boom. Cool. And if you didn't see that, that's cool. Everything that we talked about is gonna be in the description box below. And again, I'm Taisha, and I promise I won't bite my tongue. <laughs> Bye, suckers.